this is something that in America, it's summertime. We're going to spend a lot of time at the public pool. We're going to spend a lot of time at the swimming club. But what you probably didn't know is what really goes on when someone pees in the pool. Now, I think we can all agree that urinating in a public pool is gross. I think we're all on the same page. Right okay, okay, I think Tamara's not everyone agrees. start with the counter opinion not on that. Not everyone agrees that it's gross. People, it's frowned upon. They realize that, but clearly not everyone thinks it's gross if this many people are doing it. 100%. That is, that's a fair <laughs> point. Okay. I mean, okay. Everyone says that it's gross. Yes. Whether people secretly think that, who knows? I mean, yeah. I think if you took a poll of 10 people on the street, probably nine of them have peed in the pool at one point or another. Oh, definitely. But if they actually say, happens. like, yes, that's the real question. Whether they will be honest about it. Yeah. Right. Okay. So it turns out that peeing in the pool is not only gross, it is actually also dangerous. We did a little bit of deep diving and did some research to find out what really goes on when you pee in the pool, and the results are kind of shocking. Kind of, very shocking. Very <laughs> shocking. Okay, so in America, generally we use chlorine to uh, clean our pools. There are a lot of bacteria and diseases that like to live in still stagnant bodies of water, E. coli, all kinds of other bad stuff. You go into a still body of water that's not treated with chlorine, you could have a bad time. So we use chlorine and then often what we'll also use is like a UV filtration because there are some bacteria that are not killed by chlorine. Mm -hmm. So generally chlorine in the pool, it's good, keeps you safe, that's why it's there. Now, we go to the pool, there is that distinctive pool smell, Tamara, that yeah. we all think of. Like when you think of what a pool smells like, you have the pool chlorine yeah, smell. or whatever you smell after you are in a pool, everything. Yep. So it turns out that that smell actually has nothing to do directly with the smell of chlorine. What that smell is, it's a byproduct from when people go in the pool and they pee in the pool and they sweat in the pool and they have dirt and grime all over their skin, chlorine is actually very reactive. And when people pee in the pool, it actually creates a third compound that is responsible for two things. It's responsible for the pool smell that we all know and love and is responsible for your eyes getting all red and bloodshot and irritated yeah. when you swim in the pool. Which is absolutely disgusting. Yeah. The fact so that you, basically that, every pool smells like that. <laughs> every single pool smells like that. I have never encountered yeah. a pool where it doesn't smell like that. I have never encountered a pool where if I open my eyes, my eyes do not turn red. And yep. that is terrifying that you're opening your eyes and the compound that is created because people's bodily excretions. Yeah, so the, the report actually also said that in a public swimming pool, there's about 100 milliliters of urine per person in the pool at any given time that you're swimming in. Uh, another thing that I, saw, <laughs> I read about during this That's was cool. that asthma can be another uh, onset reaction to being exposed to this byproduct. And that's mm. kind of more of a long-term thing and that can be issues for people that are swimmers and they spend a lot of time in the pool. And so you always have to keep in mind what could be causing your issue like your red eyes or asthma. And what's really interesting about this and what's, I mean, we were, we were more interested in like why you shouldn't be in the pool. Um, but a really interesting other thing was related to this chemical byproduct thing. So obviously the, the peeing in the pool causes it, but the dirt and sweat and crap that you have on your skin, sunscreen also can cause it. Um, that actually, I always was like, when, you know, when they tell you like you need to shower before you go yeah, into the pool. Yeah, I had no clue why. And obviously like I would never do that. Yeah, unless no. they literally made you. Like some pools like have a shower you, yeah. room that you go into and then you go into the pool. Yeah, I never understood why. I was like, I, I don't. I was like, that seems stupid. What why? is the point of this? What am I washing off myself with just water and nothing else? That is what's happening, Tamara. You are actually washing off the stuff that could cause you to have red, irritated eyes the next time you swim in the pool. So guys, keep in mind, in the future, as much of a hassle as it is, go to the bathroom, take care of your business there, go pee, and shower before you get in the pool. Pretty much every time, I believe, because when you get out of the pool again, you just have the same buildup of sweat and all of those different things. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, like, obviously going to the bathroom beforehand yeah. seems like a pretty good idea. Um, 
but oh, showering before you swim in the pool, that is just painful. I mean, I've never wanted to do that. I've never wanted to do that either. I think it's weird. Especially if it's like, I don't know, if it's and you hot have all out your and stuff. you're like, You have to like put your stuff down, then you have to go back, and all you want to do is go in the water. They need to figure yeah. out something better for that. Yeah, they need Maybe to they need like a pre like a, a pre cleansing pool. So like you go into one pool when you get to the pool and you dip in there with the chlorine, but it's a normal pool and get all the crap off your body. You can pee in there too if you need to. You can pee. And then in there too. you go into the real <laughs> pool. No one that would doesn't go in there because it would be like, that's the pee pool. That's, that's the, pee the baby pool. pool. That's why those baby pools are always so gross. Ew, baby pools are actually the most disgusting thing. We need to do a story on that that's a, just the baby pool. An expose pool. on how dirty baby pools actually Where are. Where you're putting the baby that is the most likely to actually get hurt from any of those byproducts. Yeah, it's pretty bad. All right, folks. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe.